Nine, compressor error detection. When the compressor overcurrent protection P5, IPM module protection P6, or startup failure protection PJ appears, please confirm whether it is anomaly of compressor or the anomaly of IPM module. The confirmation methods are as follow. First, measure the compressor resistance. Measure the resistance between two wiring terminals, U, V, W, of the compressor. The resistance value range should be 0.5 to 2.0 ohm. Measure the resistance to ground of each wiring terminal. The value should be more than 10 mega ohm. If not, the compressor is damaged. 2. Measure the operation current of the compressor. Refer to the maintenance instructions of installation, debugging, and maintenance manual. Measure the operation current of the compressor in low frequency stage and high frequency stage under similar high pressure and low pressure conditions. If the value is 3 amperes higher than reference current, the compressor is damaged. Determining compressor fault. Precondition 1. The unit can be normally started. Step 1. If the unit can be normally started, start the unit so as to measure line current of the faulty compressor. For inverter compressors, the current will be deviated by 10% under different running speed and operation condition. Step 2. Check whether the compressor gives abnormal sound. Step 3. Check whether the electronic expansion valve of outdoor unit works properly. Touch the valve and you will feel its vibration during the reset action. A crack sound will be heard as well. Step 4. Check whether the four-way valve works properly. While this valve is normally running, there should be obvious temperature difference between the four copper pipes connected. When a unit switches to activate the valve, there will be obvious vibration and sound. Step 5. Measure the resistance to ground of each wiring terminal. The value should be 10 mega ohm. If not, the compressor is damaged. Precondition 2. The unit cannot be normally started. Check the solenoid valves of the system, including electronic expansion valves, oil return valves, and oil balance valves. Refer to the previous section for the test method.